remember this guy Vijay? He had no idea what was going on there. Of course. Which white dude wouldn't be surprised to see some horse in his neighborhood all decked up? Well, I told you pehle, we should have gotten married in Delhi. It would have been so much more fun. <laughs> yeah, entertain a thousand guests we hardly even know and then listen to them complain about the lack of importance they get during our <laughs> wedding. No thanks. Our wedding in the US was good enough. Well, that's why I married you. Well, that and those abs. <laughs> I know, I'm a catch. Oh, look at this. I look so hot. Vijay, you scored real big with me. Of course I did. And babe, I'm lucky you left everything back home to come here and marry me. I know it's an adjustment for you. Well, what can I say? A NRL girl has put me in the jar. I'm going to go get some water. What? Pyar ka jao? What does that mean? Oh, how cute you are. It means I fell in love with you. Okay, listen, it's dinner time and I'm hungry. What are we eating now? Did you see last night's leftovers? What leftovers? You don't have any leftovers. What are you talking about? There was so much food last night. No, I gave it all away. What? Vijay, in my house, we don't eat the previous day's food. It goes bad the next day. So, what else do you not do back home? Don't use that tone with me. What tone? The patronizing tone. What else you don't do at home? No better than to be patronizing with you. Well, that's better. Let me repeat. I'm not patronizing with you. So, do you have any other rules regarding food I should know about? I know you don't eat meat, uh, but we can have it here. As in, I can eat meat at home, right? Well, this is your house. You do whatever you want. But I have a question for you. Do you want me to keep something in mind when I cook food here? Nothing. Let me have a conversation. Can you see me now? Babe, I'm lactose intolerant. Vijay, babe, I'm sorry, I forgot you're lactose intolerant. You know, that was my natural reaction to give you milk when I saw you, uh, how hot the food was for you. I understand, babe, that's okay. But we really need to discuss the spice levels in our food. I know. Lesson learned. Last time, I used two tablespoons of red chili powder, thinking it'll be enough. So this time, I used one. But turns out, even that's a lot. I'll just reduce my spice level even further. You know, until the time there's no taste left. Please, non-spicy food can be tasty too. Of course, desserts are very tasty, and you know, especially the Indian desserts. But oh wait, you can't eat that because you're lactose intolerant, and the dessert have milk in it. Remember. It's not like I'm the only one who faces this problem with lactose intolerance. And who are you to tell me about food habits? Didn't you buy like 60 packets of Maggie and like 30 packets of Parley G the last time we went to the Indian store? Well, listen, you do not want to get into the bad books of one and a half billion people. And what do you know about Maggie anyway? Have you ever even eaten it? Don't need to. Already been to all the best ramen places in the city. God, Vijay, the ramen and Maggie are two very different things. Maggie transcends the whole political class and caste divide in India. It is the favorite of mothers and kids. Not to forget all the single boys and girls who are living in hostels in Fiji by themselves. You know, you have exams tomorrow and you get hungry at midnight. What do you eat? Maggie. You're living by yourself, you don't know how to cook. But what can you cook? Maggie. You know, when there are people at your place and you're partying with them and your useless friends who don't even drink finish all your chakna, what do you eat? You eat kacha Maggie. Even the Jain people eat Maggie without a tastemaker. We are a nation that wrote testimonials about Maggie when it was banned for a full year. That's how much we love our Maggie. And you're on a date. You only have 10 bucks left in your pocket. What do you eat? Uh, Maggie? Wrong. Parleji. Now let me introduce Parleji to you. You're stuck in rain outside. What is it that people will offer you? Parleji. You have a meeting in the morning and you're feeling dizzy. What will give you instant energy? Parleji. There's a beggar knocking at your window. What will you offer to them? Parleji. And what do you eat with your chai every morning? Well, not you, but rest of us. Parleji. 
The sales of Parliji determines the economy of a country back home. So you better not say anything about Parliji and Mali because those two things are very important to us. Just how popular is important to you and I'm not gonna say anything about it. Did you get it? Okay, well, I get it. I'll eat some Parliji tomorrow. Can we please sleep now? Fine. Good night. Babe, I think I'm hungry. What do we have to eat? Maggie will have to do. First, two minutes. Take hundred. Yeah. Hey guys. We hope you liked the episode. So please like, share, and subscribe to get notified when we upload our next episode. Apko Maggie or Parli G ki What? Yeah. Um, Nije comment bhi kar dena. Vijay ka Hindi voice